wrap on to them. Today I want to talk about numbers on your Mac and a function that you can use called pivot tables. Now pivot table, it's a special type of table that organizes and summarizes data from another table, uh, typically known as your source of data. Let's get into this and see what it does and how you can utilize it. First, we have our source table. I have a table here called Song Library. And it basically just lays out in columns and rows whatever it is you want to categorize. A song title, an artist, the time, and the genre. You can do the same thing with expenses by month, by category. You can do a book library, same kind of thing. Whatever you want to lay out in a simple, straightforward table, you can utilize your pivot table to give you summaries. Once you have your table laid out and, and you don't utilize any formulas or calculations because the pivot table will automatically do that stuff for you. So you want to just lay it out in a basic table. Then what you're going to do, you come up to the pivot table icon, click on it. Notice it gives you a blank table. It's called Song Library Pivot. That's what the tab is called. Your source table is indicated with a green dot. If you look off to the right, you'll see Pivot Options. This little message says, to add values to this table, view Pivot Options, which are right here off to the right. What it did was it took each of our columns and put it into this source. Notice you have columns, rows, and values. So if you wanted the columns of this Pivot Table by genre, you would just take your genre plop it down. Now you have the genres across the columns. In our rows, we want, let's say, artist and uh, song title and time. You can size each of these columns to fit, okay? And you'll notice your genres are out here. Now, maybe that doesn't work for us. So say we don't want the genres in the columns. So you can just unclick each of these and start over. Instead of columns, let's say we want, the first thing we want is our genre in the row. So now you have our genres in column A in the rows. So we have adult contemporary, blues, country, rock, which are the genres that I created, and then a grand total. It automatically will put that in there for you. Now, we don't have anything in column B. So let's say we want song title. Now you put song title. Now you have adult contemporary and all the song titles that fall under that genre. Then, if you want, you can take artist and put there. Notice these down arrows here. That's So that's creating a category. So you can open or close that category individually just by clicking on it. Or, if you hold the Option key down and click on that, notice how it hides lights that area, click on it, and it will shrink all of them down. The same is true with the genres. So now you have, if you open just Adult Contemporary, now you have all of the song titles that fall under that genre. You can then take time, and let's say we want it next. So if we open all of these, now you're going to see that you have everything here. So you're going to have the song title, the, the genre, the title, the artist, and the time. Well, maybe we want the time there. We want the time down here in values. So 
notice it defaulted to time sum. If you click on the eye, you can click on it and you can see that it, you have a lot of options that you can choose from. For this particular purpose, we want the sum. So that's the most logical. And again, if these are not conducive to the order that you want to see them in, you can you can very easily shift them around. So maybe we want the artist first. Just slide it up. Now we have our artist first, the song title, and then the genre. You could move them around. Okay? So that if you hold the option key, hit the arrow, you see now you have the artist. So we have you see here Aaron Lewis, we have him under two categories, adult contemporary and in country. Depending on what you want to do, that's you could easily do that. And again, you have your time for each of those categories. And then if we look down the bottom, you see you have grand total of time. Now, one thing you can't do is you can't say, well, this is in, well, obviously it's in minutes, but you can't take that minutes and then uh, turn that into hours. You can't put a formula or a function in this pivot table. But you certainly can maneuver all of this data around so that here you're looking at it and it's summarized the total time by artist. Now, you have Bruce Springsteen here twice because probably have him under several categories. Oh, so I had this one in there, song in there twice. You would just have to clean up information like that. But you can manipulate it any way you want. So you can simply move these around. If you, we have artists first. If you wanted the genre first, just slide it up. Now you have the genre and the genre adult contemporary. These are all of your artists that you've qualified as being under adult contemporary. The time, and notice you have a total time for your adult contemporary, total time for blues. Um, and then again, if you close all of those, you have a very short table. Let's take a look at adding a chart. Click on your chart, pick a chart, slide it anywhere you want, um, expand it. So you have, now you have a chart showing the adult contemporary blues, country, and rock. And here's your time for each. So the adult contemporary is 266, total 66 minutes. So there's your 280 line and so on and so forth. Real quick, easy way to create a graph. You want to show it by author. Click on it select one. Okay, now here it's going to ask you to select your references. Oops. And here it's showing again the adult contemporary and it's just a pie chart. And it's showing you what each of the areas are down here. That's how you can use pivot tables. Now, is it something for you? Well, that's something that you have to determine. I hope this was a relatively good introduction. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll talk to you soon.